When a spring is pulled, when it's stretched, the extension of the spring is proportional to the force applied. And this is called Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law. Robert Hooke was a scientist at the same time as Sir Isaac Newton. In fact, they were uh, rivals. They didn't like each other that much. But again, uh, like Sir Isaac Newton, a very good scientist. Um, so this is called Hooke's Law. It's given by the equation F equals K multiplied by x. F equals kx. So let's see what this actually means in practice. Let's say we've got a spring and at the moment it is unstretched. There's no load on it. It's 30 centimeters long. And let's say that we're going to hang a 10 newton weight on it so it stretches slightly. So there's our 10 Newton weight. And let's say the new length of this spring is 35 centimeters. So the extension of the spring would be the difference between the, the lengths, the new length and the original length, the starting length. And here the extension would be five centimeters. So we could say X equals five centimeters. Now Hooke's law states that the extension of the spring is proportional to the force applied. So if we doubled the force on this uh, spring, if we put a 20 Newton weight on it, then we can expect the extension also to double. And so we would see something like this. Okay, so we've stretched the spring a bit more. We've now got a 20 Newton weight on it. And the, the original length was here. The new length is here. And so we've now got a 10 centimeter extension. Now that's true as long as the spring has not gone past its limit of proportionality. Limit of proportionality. And we'll look at that in another flashcard. As long as um, the spring is within its limit of proportionality. Okay, let's go and just finish off this flashcard and let's define these quantities. So F is the force units of Newtons. K is the spring constant and it's telling us how stiff the spring is, sometimes called the spring stiffness. And the units of the spring constant are Newtons per meter. Now sometimes you might see this in Newtons per centimeter because centimeters are more uh, convenient if you have a small spring. So watch out for that non-standard unit. X is the extension, is the extension, and the units of X will be meters if the spring constant is in meters, or centimeters if the spring constant has centimeters in it. So whatever the um, unit of length or distance here, make sure it's matched in both of these quantities for stiffness and extension. And that is Hooke's law.